Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are new here, my name is Whitney and this is my cousin Chelsea. She has a channel and you can find her under Chelsea Walden. I'll also have it linked down below. Um, today's video, we're going to collab and do a weird makeup video, as you can kind of see what's going on right now. Um, we don't normally look like this if you are new here. <laughs> so um, we tried out some weird stuff. This is some eyeshadow and, you know, random stamp eyebrow stuff, a silly sponge, but just some weird stuff that I got from a website called AliExpress. I just went on there and typed in weird makeup, and this is the stuff that popped up. Um, if you haven't heard of AliExpress, it's like China, so it took everything like 30 days to get here, if not longer, um, but everything is like 20 cents in free shipping or a dollar in free shipping. So I will have that website linked down below if you want to check it out. Um, I'm, this isn't affiliated in any way. I don't think they sponsor videos anyway. If you will, please subscribe to this channel before you leave and also make sure to go check out Chelsea's channel. We're going to do a video over there as well. Check that out and make sure you subscribe to her channel also. And uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And I think we're going to start with foundation. And I have this uh, weird sponge brush thingy. It's, I think it was called like the Perfect Blending Foundation Sponge or something. And then Chelsea has the uh, Silly Sponge. I've already used the Silly Sponge. She hasn't. So I figured she could use that and put our foundation on and see how it works. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And I'm going to use Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. I will say I got this wet and it did not double in size at all. So it's not like the um, um, Peace blender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna start blending mine. If I can get my hair out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> is it just wiping it around? <laughs> well, this is actually working fine, but it's so small that it's gonna take forever to put it on. I know, I didn't know what to do with it when I used that. Well, I've seen people that you like wipe it and then they pat it or something like that. Some people love it. Yeah. I might be taking back my, this is working okay, because this is like annoying. Is it blending it all for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't figure out what the, why people even remotely thought that was a good. I'd rather just waste a little foundation yeah. or something and sponge it, fix it. So I officially have a hand cramp and <laughs> <laughs> my face foundation doesn't even look like it's on there. So I mean, I guess this thing worked, but it's not something I would ever use again. Like it blended the foundation in, but it absorbed half of my foundation and it's not on my face. And obviously Chelsea has had to <laughs> resort to her sponge. I saved everything. <laughs> so we went ahead and threw on our contour and blush and now we're gonna jump into eyeshadow. And so I got these weird little, I don't know, sponge eyeshadow applicator things. And I got all this from a China store, so there's no directions. <laughs> So we're just gonna go with how we think it should go. I think you just put it on and your eyeshadow is just amazingly done. That's what the picture looked like. And this is the only shade variety variation it gave me. We're just gonna go with it. <laughs> this, this is probably gonna look, funny. yeah. I think you just put it on there. I don't know if you're supposed to hold it for a second. <laughs> We don't know what we're doing, but we're just going with it. Hey, that oh! Is pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool, actually. I mean, all we got to do is blend it down just a little bit, and I think it'll be fine. I'm going to put the other one on, and then... That's actually worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Me too. I just kind of wish I would have used this one over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I bet if we would have used it like the opposite eye, it would have been more light on the inner corner and darker on the outer corner. Yeah, I want to check that one up. Hey, but your eye, <laughs> like it like cool. fits your eyelids perfectly. Okay. This one actually looks better. So I'm gonna blend this in just a smidge. 
That was actually neat. It actually had fallout. What the heck? I know. <laughs> That's crazy. I have it all under this eye. The colors are pretty. Yeah. I didn't actually think that was going to go on like that. Yeah, I, really I don't want to mess this up. It looks like a little rainbow in my eye. <laughs> that, I mean, yeah, that one went on perfectly. That one just a little. But tiny. it's just blended. Okay, so one out of the two products so far we've used actually worked fairly decent. Would I do this all the time? Probably not, but maybe if I'm in a hurry. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Vamp Stamp, which is like a stamp on eyeliner. And I only got one of these, so we're gonna take turns using it. And I'm going to use the Stilla Stay All Day and see if that works on it. I'm just gonna color it on there, I guess. Yeah, that worked pretty good. Minute, yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna do the other one real quick so then Chelsea can do hers and then I'll add to mine while she's doing hers. Hmm. Okay, that one doesn't look the <laughs> best. Okay, you can try it. She's gonna use a different eyeliner on hers and then I'm gonna connect my little lines. I feel like this is about to be a disaster. Uh, it looks like it like, really caked up on there. I know that wasn't too bad. I mean mm -hmm. it is at least like a little yeah. Pride. Okay that one didn't go so well. Did it not? No. That's the same exact <laughs> how mine did. I think that's like the only way to fix this is to Go big. <laughs> big wings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so mine didn't do horribly. I think my eyeliner worked better in some ways because Chelsea's kind of caked on there, but I guess it gave her a guide on where to place her wings, which can be one of the hardest things when doing wing liner. And then I kind of uh, escalated my liner. Like that didn't turn out too bad, but no, this that's good. is a lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look horrible though. Just that, that, that one over there is good. Yeah, that one did good. I just had to fill it in. I just had like skipped a little bit. Yeah. We're just gonna leave that one just fine <laughs> away. <laughs> okay, eyebrows are next, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I have two different eyebrow product things, and I don't really know. We haven't decided who's doing what or what, but so one you like line up, and the other one is the stamp. Um. And we both have light brows, and this is called Bright Brown. So this isn't going to look very well, but we will make it work. We decided we're just each going to do one brow with each thing, so that way we can see how it works. Okay, is this this brow? All right. How are you supposed to hold the mirror at the end of this? <laughs> <laughs> My eyebrows don't even fit in this. <laughs> just make it the shape. <laughs> All right, so here is that. <laughs> like how far? <laughs> it's gonna fly away with your your wing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, you can't see where to put it. <laughs> I'm going back now. I touched it. Hey, mine didn't do that. Little tail here. No, that looks really that good. That actually, actually is a good shape if yeah. the color was great. We didn't plan to have the same mirror, but she brought it, so I was like, <laughs> I'm going to use this one too. So this actually didn't work out too bad, and the color is not horrible, actually. That's a very dark brown. <laughs> and it's very interesting looking. Okay, so yeah, it is hard to see. to see because this thing is in the way you can't see if it's actually on your brow or not oh yeah that's the problem i had <laughs> it'll happen a little too <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's actually a pretty good shaped yeah, brow is, yeah i wish my actual brow looked like that <laughs> I 
So this is just not a good shape. I, I get the point of it. It doesn't, it's not horrible. Yeah, I feel like it could, it could it work. Has it has potential. potential yeah. yeah. But that stamp, I mean, hey, I, I, I could do that much. again. Yeah. It does have fallout though. Like on my Yeah, face. I had fallout everywhere. <laughs> it's like a little brown. <laughs> Can you see? But your brows are so light, maybe. It just <laughs> looks like you need to pluck. <laughs> You got really bushy, bushy brows. <laughs> okay. But that's just like. Whoosh. That's pretty good though. Yeah. The color's not bad actually. I mean, yeah, it's dark it's on dark, you, but... but it has like the red tint to yeah. it in the brow. So. so now we're gonna do our lips, and I have these lip stickers, and these actually came with um, directions. It says safe and non-toxic. It's good to know. Yeah. There's no uh, ingredients though. <laughs> Let's leave that part out. So it says make sure your lips are 100% clean. Shape and size the lips with the mouth open to the ah position. <laughs> okay, so I decided to choose cheetah because I don't have very good selections. I mean, these are the options we got here. <laughs> so I'm going cheetah. I'm going to do polka dots. So we're going to cut them to fit our lips. Can you imagine if we didn't cut it when you just put it on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be funny. All right, so here goes nothing. I think I'm going to start with my bottom lip. <laughs> Where are you going to start your top? <laughs> I, did, I just picked up one, so I guess we'll start the same. Should not be shy with the water, so. I wonder how this kind of off. <laughs> I don't think I had instructions for that. <laughs> Sorry. I had to go to town looking like this. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I need to go to Walmart. I just let it sit like this for 40 seconds. I don't know. I uh, took too much of my, I cut too much off. <laughs> Look how offside it is. <laughs> Obviously uh, our cutting skills is not very good. Okay, top lip. <laughs> I don't want to put my lips together. <gasps> my thumb just touched it. You'll just have a little bald spot. <laughs> This part like won't stick down. Okay. So not all of mine come off. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda cool. Okay. <laughs> Did you touch the bottom one? <laughs> no, I just one? like oh. when I was trying to put peel it off, I like just third. Kinda... Yep, I think I'm ready for Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you go we on people at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Just so there's top. mine. I mean, mine did do more. Yeah, late. yours looks good. <laughs> Alright, maybe I could like fill Add the rest red. Of the, yeah. yeah, you might gonna make it work. But that looks like I have some really jacked up sideways. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. I mean, okay, so I think my opinion on these, like if we were to really do it like more, I think it would work. Yeah, and practice it. But I, where you would wear this, besides, I mean, Halloween's coming up, so. Or make it Fourth a of July. Or something. Yeah. I don't know, though. This but I denim. Like if you eat anything on it with it, it'll probably come off. It's transfer proof. <laughs> For now. Oh, just kidding. It's coming off. <laughs> I'm going to have little holes everywhere. <laughs> so hopefully this comes off easy. I just need to hold my mouth, like. 
yeah. All right. Well, I think that is it. We tried out all this weird stuff, and for the most part, it was a fail. But I mean, it was fun. The eyeshadow, I think, was our best hit. I yeah. think that the vamp stamp has definite. Yeah, it definitely has potential. Potential. I think maybe finding the right product to use with it, because this line is really, really good. Yeah, and the same with yours. No, yeah, good. this one's not that great, but it has potential there. Um, the brow thing, I mean, the stamp, I think, was pretty good. It's not the right color, so I guess if I had a the proper powder color, I think it would be good. Because it's pretty much the same shape as my brows Yeah. now. And then the little, this thingy, it's just a sad brow. I don't really care for that at all. It's, it's not horrible. Idea, it's yeah, I get the point. It's just not shaped right. It needs to be bent. The <coughs> angle. <laughs> it needs to be angled <laughs> more. But um, for this video, that is it. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.